there everybody, my name is Chatterack and welcome to a game called Perception. This is the next horror game that we're playing on the channel and I'm so, so excited. I was going to play Outlast 2 first, but I kickstarted this game way back when, so I feel like I should at least play this now. And it's, I'm really, really excited to play it because it's a new twist on horror. And basically the game is about this woman whose name I do not know because once I kickstarted it, I immediately stopped paying attention to it. Because that's what I do with those games, is I want I don't want to really know all the nitty gritties, I just want to support them and you know play their game when it comes out. So anyway, you're blind. That's the only thing I really do know about it. And um, that will make things really interesting going in. And one thing that's great to know about this game is um, it's actually made by veteran developers of games of the Bioshock series, mainly Bioshock and Bioshock Infinite, and Dead Space. So you know it's got a, a good crack of team working on it. So let's go ahead and start up Perception. Inspired by true when events. You're blind, you learn a thing or two about trust. Yeah, you do. You learn who to trust. Creepy Cassie. Never gonna find out. <laughs> See, this is interesting. We're blind, but what she's you seeing what to trust. is... Focus, Cassie. What's this sound? A fan. Good. Now, what's in front of the fan? I don't know. Cassie, sounds are how we see. Listen, tap your cane. It's a coffee mug. Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. Though you are without sight. So she's basically developed a, a technique for. And being most able importantly. To see. You learn to trust yourself, even if that means hopping on the first flight to Boston to find the mansion from your nightmares. What? I don't know why I've been having these oh, dreams no. for months now, and I certainly don't know what's waiting for me at Echo Bluff. All right, this is cool. But I do know I can't take much more of the torment. This is very cool. So I'm trusting myself to get to the bottom of it. So every step I take is an echo, and I'm trying not to talk when she's talking. That way, we have, we can all enjoy the story. But. Basically, she's learned the she has the ability to see sound. Is the, what I got from that. And now I'm here. So see, because she can hear the wind, that's giving us a way forward. She can see because she can hear where the like exactly what path the wind is whistling through, which is very very cool. I like that. Because, see, there was another blind game that had come out on uh, Xbox One, I believe, but it didn't look nearly as good. Phone vibrates. Hello? Cassie, I'm on my way to stay good. Listen, I need to do this. There's our lovely mansion. <sighs> I'm at the door. We don't hang up. Oh. Look at, look at that beautiful, beautiful mansion. Beautiful. Anyway, moving on. Let's go inside. So yeah, so even just here, like, you can hear this, you can hear these chairs moving from the wind, and every time you hear this little noise, that's my cane, or you see that little shockwave, it's from my cane. Alright, so let's go. Knock. Hello? Oh god, the I know loudness. nobody's there, but I'm just doing my due diligence. Your diligence, ha! It's probably open, isn't it? Why are these doors always open in these games? Hello. I guess no one really wants to go to a freaking creepy probably house. Probably should like have worked out a plan if someone is, you know, here. Yeah, Cassie, that probably would have been great. Oh God! <laughs> All right, chapter one: the rope. Press space. Okay, so it's called echo locating. Out, or that's what that's called. In. Nobody's supposed to be here. Well, looks like someone's here. Looked out of the game for a second, because that's great. Open door. You know, and I want to try to not use the cane as much as possible, because look, every step you take is a vibration. It's a noise. It's a pattern. So you can see, sort of without having to use the cane. I feel like the, the the scares in this game could be real. But 
We'll have to find that out for ourselves. So, hmm. Oh, I ran into this. Deep I think. breaths, Cassie. You're here for a reason. I am. I mean, In of course dreams, I am. I always see a rope, a ticket, an apple, and an axe. Maybe start there. That seems like a good place. Whoa! What's that? Hate, hate, hate fire. I just hate fire. Uh, can I read this? Damn it. Dearest Richard, happy anniversary, my love. What a perfect way to begin our 10th year together. New house, new baby on the way. That sounds exciting. I know this fresh start is the perfect way to complete our family. Good. Felicia. Oh, good. It's Felicia. Having issues with my mic. What was that? A memory? Oh. No, no. No, no, no. Can I burn the memory? Can I, can I, can I grab it again? No? Okay. I don't know where I am. See, like, the mouse, my mouse is still, like, moving, but it's, like, not in the, like, it's not moving in the game, which I think might be because my controller is attached, so we might have to, we might have to do something about that. I don't know where I am. Okay, we need to get it. Oh, that looks safe. Uh. Felicia's pregnancy suits her. She glows. She walks around holding her tummy. Sometimes she just smiles for no reason. Mm. I was worried about the solitude of this place, but I think the impending addition is going to be her whole world. Until then, oh God. I just need to keep a batch of chocolate chip cookies on hand at all times. <laughs> I see. Let's open the door. I can't open the door. Um. Why can't I open that door? Can't I? All right. So that door doesn't open. They're not supposed to come this way. We are supposed to go over here. Oh yeah, there's a stairwell over here. Oh, that's cool. It made a different noise as from when I struck, like, the actual, like, beam of the staircase. That's neat. That's very cool. Landmarks and memories appear in green. Thanks, game. I didn't already freaking know that. Oh, and see? That's... Oh, that's cool. I like that. That's very neat. Who's that? Use six cents for the next goal. Oh, okay. So if I ever get lost, use six cents. I guess that, yeah, because I don't have sight, so. Alright, so that doesn't work. Let's go over here. So I said I didn't want to use echolocation, but I kind of feel like I'm going to have to. Hello? No. Oh, hi. Okay. Okay, good. Oh, that's bad. Ah, Hello? Babies. I guess I'm following the baby. There's no baby. Oh, this is open now. Oh, Jesus! What was that? What happened? Why am I... Oh, I got knocked out. Shit. Did I... Oh, God, that's... This is creepy. I don't know if I like all this. Thornton. But I down. like the music box. Okay, so now this is a flashback. Box to help me fall asleep. It's a new house. I'm scared to go. <sighs> but I love this song. Uh, so this is from when I was in a hospital. Okay. 
Fine. I'll leave it for the next girl. So Okay. <sighs> Wish I'd left that one buried in the backyard. What brought that back? I don't know. Could this could the could this girl could the girl that was pregnant in this house be connected with the girl who gets the music? I don't know. Maybe that that's a that could be a long shot. But look at this. This plays music. So every time it hits a note, it echoes. That's very very cool. I like that a lot. I like that quite a bit. There. There it is. The rope. Well, I want to look at this first. I've always loved this agate's healing properties, but last week when I had a stomach ache. Oh, well, oh well. All right, so this is the rope. Oh, oh yeah. God damn it! <laughs> I don't understand. The rope was actually mobs. This is the rope. The same damn rope from my dreams. What the hell does it mean? What What does the rope mean? What is the dream? I, I still have some digging around to do. I haven't seen this. Oh, hey, 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 hey. That one buried in the backyard. <laughs> Why am I going in here? Um. All right, there's a draft coming through there. Guess we're going over there. I'm in the kitchen. Oh, that, that was a good sound. Oh, uh, I didn't repeat it. Great. Can I go in here? Anywhere but the scary places <laughs> I want to go. Okay. Um, can I shut this wind? Oh, there's an arrow. Oh. It was the tree in my dreams and I just forgot. Oh, hey, oh. Okay. What the hell? Who's here? I hear a something something. Sounds like coughing. And not the Pokemon. The door wasn't open before. Person over there. Ghosts. Actual ghosts. Wait, how do you know they're ghosts? We can't see anything. Oh, go, go. <laughs> That's Felicia uh. vomiting. Honey, can you grab the pills you prescribed me for morning sickness? I left my purse in the car. Okay. Yeah. Sure, I'll grab them. Jesus. I'm. I, I'm not the. <laughs> I don't think she was talking to us, Cassie. I don't think that was what we we're supposed to do. Maybe that was a joke. I don't know. <laughs> and this leads just to nowhere land. Hooray! I went somewhere I shouldn't have gone. Maybe I can go over here. Can I go here? Oh, God. Are we outside? I think we are outside. Oh, hey, oh, hi, hey! What the fuck was that noise? Imagining things, Cass. Oh, I can run. I can run. Should I run, though? I don't like the idea that I can run now. Because that normally means I'm going to have to run from something. Like that thing. Hi. Is that an owl? It looks like it could be an owl. Oh, I am getting the pills. Oh, what the shit? Fucking birds and shit. Fucking damn bird. Give me that shit. Stop clicking out of the game. You're gonna have to fix that. Scan with Delphi. Oh. Patient, Briar, Felicia. 
20 mg fluke sodine, tabs. Instructions, take twice daily with water. Dr. Richard Breyer. So that's what, what a doctor prescribes to his own wife. I mean, I guess it would be it would save you some medical bills, but yeah, that seems kind of kind of odd. All right, so now we're going back. My phone's ringing. New text message from Serge. Hey, Mark Serge. Gordon, what's up? Not angry, just concerned. Look, I need answers. I just got here, and this shit's messed up. That's an understatement. I'm onto something. That's, a, it, that's definitely an understatement. I'm starting to think I'm having these nightmares for a reason. Message sent. Yeah, probably. Oh, so that's how she sends text messages. Oh, that's cool. All right, so let's go back in here. This place feels different. Uh, it's because it is different. That fireplace wasn't there before. This was a mug. That thing was in the garage again. What thing? With the baby sitting on my bladder, it took all my self-control not to wet myself. My nerves are shot. I, I need some tea. Yeah, tea is always soothing, isn't it? I'll be out in a bit. Um, just, just leave it on the bar, honey. Thank you. Bar. Each Back. one is absolute crap. I've got a stack of Java journals up to my chin, and every issue is stuffed with pompous pseudo-intellectual prattle about the dangers of the medical model. What's all that over there? And the anti-pharmaceutical movement. Do no harm, my ass. Are my colleagues going to get back to what matters? Okay. So back to snooping. Back to snooping. Um, I need to use my my sixth sense. What is that? I don't know what we're going for now. This. No need to hide. Oh God, there's gonna be a need to hide. God. Should I have known that though? Probably. Is this the right way? I don't think so. I don't know if it is. Got another memory. Tossing and turning and tossing and turning. I used to sleep on my belly before I got pregnant. Now I roll around like a woman possessed. Whee! This baby kicks so frantically sometimes. It <laughs> must be very excited. I hope. Either very excited or very angry. One of the two. Doll. I keep finding these little things in the strangest places around the house. The last one I threw over the side of the cliff because it made me feel dizzy when I touched it. That's not a good Here sign. The same one with the unstitched eye back under our bed. And it's a little oh, good. soggy. Oh good, so there's 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 some kind of supernatural thing going on. Wouldn't be a horror game without that. Alright, so that's the kids' room again. And I need to get to that. Whatever that is. Right? Oh good, a gym. A Jimmy Jim Jim. What's this? Another thing I'm not gonna listen to. Oh, we're in Boston, I thought. Oh, good. Alright, so I need to go back downstairs. I can do that. Oh, shit. You think I'd have trouble going down the stairs? The house is listening. The fuck does that mean? Like, at... Like, actually, what does that mean? Hey, hey. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it, and I don't know. I do not know what that means. Uh, 
those noises are just a little, little creepy. Um. Yep. Yeah. Still not making me feel good. Okay. I'm gonna go back this way. See, I need to get to this thing. And I don't quite know how to do that. I thought by coming downstairs I could. But, uh. Not really so sure anymore. What the hell does a rope, a ticket, and a goddamn apple have to do with anything? That. Why those items? Oh good, look, I have a need to hide now. That's uh that's not good. Okay, there's the thing that I need inside this door. There's the thing. Let's open that. Okay, Dr. B. Bah, use as a key code. So we gotta find the key code. Alright, well, there's the number. There, there's a two. Moving forward with a combination of manoamine, oxidase inhibitors, and tricyclic antidepressants. So that technically could be 213, because if you take the prefixes. Thanks. All right, so it was a four key combination, right? Dose two. So that would be two. Has caused vomiting and patient's hysteria has returned. Moving forward with a combination of manoamine, oxidase inhibitors, and tricyclic antidepressants. Three. Is that, is that two, one, three? Like, maybe zero, two, one, three? Ah, uh, crap. Um, maybe maybe there's other things for us to find. Yeah, there's more things here. Oh, hey, oh, 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 no. That's some Emily wants to play shit right there. No, thank you. No, thank you, Sally. Things keep appearing, and I don't like that. Too much noise may attract enemies. I hear something. I hear a something something, and I don't know what that is. God, this game is actually really scary. At the at, at, uh, it's, at the fucking bust. It's gonna go in here. Um, what's that? Scan with Delphi. Boom. Ta-da! to speech. One, some kind of woman, somehow connected, connected to the tree. Two. Other people, seemingly unrelated. A 1940s housewife? Could this be Betty? Alright, so now we've got Some another man name. With a mustache? Three, that song. Four, the noises. Five, misaligned chakras? Well, she having visions too? Who else just said chakra? Oh! Everything's fine now. I'm fine. Sandy's fine. What the f Won't you come back and sleep with us, Richard? Daddy. 
Huh? Huh? Okay. There's lots to figure out. Lots and lots and lots to figure out. And I really don't know this combination thing. Oh, man. I suddenly don't feel so good. The patient is taken to seclusion and doesn't seem to understand her surroundings. This, I think, may be for the best. I will monitor this situation closely before making any more hasty decisions after last time. I understand everything. Good. Matters into my own hands? Yeah, what does that mean? It's not alpha male or anything. No. Psh. Yeah, you tell it. You tell it, Cassie. Anyway, okay, I'm actually gonna think I'm gonna leave this episode right here. Um, I, I don't know if I'm missing something for the co like the the combo, or if I'm just you know. I'm still having to search, like, there's, there's a way to go up the stairs there, but this is a really, really cool game. Mechanically, it's very interesting. Um, and I really enjoyed the style to it. Um, I'm curious to see how the Geese characters are going to be connected eventually. Because, um, like, I, I feel like there's something that's binding us to this house. There has to be. That's why I would have these visions, you know, to come to this house. And I don't know what everything is involved with, like, the apple, um, the file and you know the rope but hopefully in the next episode we'll figure some things out but i thought this would be a good first starting episode so i'm gonna leave this episode here so thank you guys so much for watching this episode of perception i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please leave a like and let me know in the comments what you guys think of the game if there's any other kinds of games like this you want to see on the channel please let me know so i cannot wait to play this game and many more games with you guys again so i will see all you guys in the next video Bye bye I'm gonna go get some more.